Did you know that all the gods from ancient mythologies were actual real beings who were extraterrestrial aliens possessing advanced technology in ancient times? These beings with assumed the roles of gods to humanity and masqueraded as our creators on Earth. These purported extraterrestrial people known as the Anunnaki Atlanteans of Nibiru are said to have connections with every mythology and religion of human society. These include all Greek, Norse, Egyptian mythologies and many more within our ancient history. Enlil, the youngest narcissistic brother, took on the roles of Zeus in Greek mythology and one of the Old Testament gods of the Bible, known as Yahweh, who commanded Abraham to offer his only son as a sacrifice. Ninhasag, their sister, consumes the identities of Isis, the mother of Adam in Genesis who gave birth to Adam within a 10-month time period, and the mother goddess Hera in Greek mythology. Enki, their older, wise and compassionate brother, was Poseidon in Greek mythology and also the serpent in the Garden of Eden, as he divulged the truth to Eve regarding their creation. There exist numerous cultural variations regarding the names of these Anunnaki visitors in various mythologies, but for the sake of simplicity, we will focus on Greek, Norse and Egyptian mythologies alongside the biblical texts. Imagine, if you will, the mists of antiquity parting to reveal a time where beings that look like you and I, possessing unparalleled technology, who were extraterrestrial in origin of Earth, descended upon this planet. These humanoid beings were not merely advanced, they were the architects of the cosmos, owning solar systems and planets like Earth and manipulating the fabric of nature itself with their advanced technology and knowledge. The Sumerian civilization's pantheon, which is known as the oldest and original mythological epics on Earth, starts with a royal alien family who came to Earth called the Anunnaki, meaning those who came from heaven. Anu, the head god and the father king of all the Anunnaki, ruled from the distant and mysterious planet Nibiru. His presence reverberates in the annals of Greek mythology as the powerful titan Kronos father of the Olympians. In Norse mythology, he is also known as Bor Burison, father of Odin. And in Egyptian sagas, he is known as Geb, father of Osiris and Seth. There is only a few ancient texts showing Anu's interaction with mankind since he ruled from planet Nibiru. However, his presence was justly recorded to show his importance to the Anunnaki royal family. Enki, also recognized as Aya, the eldest son of Anu and revered as the god of water, guardian of the seas and oceans, remarkably mirrors Poseidon in Greek mythology. Enki held dominion over the seas and waters and presided over early earth before the arrival of his brother Enlil bestowing the planet with his own name, Aya. He's also identified as Loki in Norse mythologies, owing to his cunning and clever exploits involving his younger sibling. In Egyptian mythology, Enki the assumes the role of Osiris, the god of the underworld, which corresponds to the depths of the underground tombs, ocean and seas. Enki is assigned the task of determining which humans may find eternal residence on their home planet Nibiru, after their earthly demise. This is the very promise made to the pharaohs, ensuring the rejuvenation of their deceased bodies to grant them the only opportunity for immortality. Enlil, the younger son of Anu, the tempestuous alien man of air and storms, finds his counterparts in Zeus of Greek mythology. He is also known as the thunder god Thor in Norse sagas and Seth, the brother of Osiris, in the captivating realm of Egyptian myth. He is known for being Yahweh in biblical text demanding Samson to murder people to pay off a bet. And he was the Lord Satan of the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, masquerading as their creator, eventually kicking them out of paradise. His dislike of humans was shown by the floods, disease, murders and fathom. He brought to earth humans many times in Sumerian and biblical text. Ninhasag, the daughter of Anu and sister of Enki and Enlil, casts her divine shadow across the pantheons of the world with many names. In the Greek mythological realm, 
Her counterpart is Hera, the goddess of women, and in Norse mythology, she assumes the visage of Freya, and in Egyptian cosmology, she finds resonance with the beloved mother, goddess Isis. Nin Hasag was the compassionate mother of Adam and gave birth to him within a 10-month time period. Isis was a warrior goddess, alongside being a mother of modern humans. It is said she did not want to flood Earth alongside her brother Enki. However, the Anunnaki Council decided to move forward with the flood. It was from the view of the mothership in the skies she wept for her children during the first great flood. The Anunnaki aliens were known to have possessed superhuman abilities. Thanks to their origins on a planet where the density, mass and gravity contributed to enhanced cellular regeneration in their bodies. This granted them superhuman strength, incredible speed and an imposing height compared to Earth's inhabitants. These characteristics provide compelling evidence for all the existence of myths and tales featuring demigods like Achilles, Samson, Hercules and Goliath. As they share similar abilities and origins, being offspring of these Anunnaki entities. Let us now delve into Greek mythology, the world's most renowned mythological tradition that seamlessly intertwines with a multitude of global mythologies. Within the pantheon of Greek gods, the Olympian deities held reverence for their possession of immortality. These divine beings were impervious to the constraints of a finite lifespan, and their capacity to shapeshift allowed them to assume the forms of humans or animals in the ancient tales. However, it's worth noting that highly advanced rejuvenation chambers were unearthed in modern Cairo within ancient Egyptian tombs as of 2015. In ancient Sumerian texts, these chambers were employed by the Anunnaki royals to renew their bodies and transfer their consciousness into biologically engineered avatars, a technological achievement foreseen by the 2045 project initiative that commenced in the year 2020. Through this advanced technology, the gods or Anunnaki could attain eternal life and undergo transformations of appearance enabling them to interact with mortals and even have offspring with the daughters of men. The individual known as Abraham engaged in a conversation with an extraterrestrial entity named Yahweh, whom he believed to be God or the Creator. This Anunnaki being instructed Abraham to demonstrate his fear and devotion by sacrificing his own son as a significant test. This event highlights that this being possessed human-like patriarchal emotions and was not, in fact, a creator, but an extraterrestrial with distinct human characteristics. Another text describes Yahweh, also known as Enlil or Zeus, dispatching wild bears to attack and murder a large group of children who had mocked the boldness of Eliseus. This account can be found in 4 Kings 2.23 verse 24 of the biblical text. Another characteristic that suggests this being is not divine but rather assumes a facade is the tale of him and his brother Enki, often considered Lucifer in biblical text, placing a wager on a righteous man who unwaveringly believed in Yahweh as God with every fiber of his being. Enki informs Enlil that Job would not maintain the same devotion to him as to God if he were stripped of all his blessings including wealth, family and health gifts that Enlil had bestowed upon him. They proceed to afflict Job with torment, nearly bringing him to the brink of death and suicide, all to settle a bet regarding the depth of Job's devotion to Lord God Enlil. In Greek mythology, Enlil, known as Zeus, issues commands to mortals, directing them to provide sacrificial offerings of both meats and fruits as a means to secure the blessing of rain and prevent drought on the lands. This practice suggests that Enlil, in his Zeus persona, would receive these food offerings to ensure he didn't have to forage for sustenance, all while promising humanity the bestowal of his divine power, which, in reality, was advanced technology. This rather cruel ritual finds its counterpart in Norse mythology as well, where Vikings offer their gods, who are actually extraterrestrials, deceased animals, and even human sacrifices as a demonstration of their love and reverence towards them. This is also can be found in Aztec and Mayan traditions and culture as well. 
teleportation is the second astonishing capability exhibited by these celestial beings. A phenomenon echoed in ancient texts originating from various corners of the world. Egyptian hieroglyphs and the Egyptian Book of the Dead contain rich oral traditions describing the Anunnaki Egyptian god's mastery of stargates, which are interdimensional portals connecting Earth to distant realms and celestial bodies within the cosmos. Each Anunnaki individual possessed an Ankh port key, intricately encoded with their unique DNA, granting access to the stargates they left behind on Earth. Attempting to utilize another's port key without the matching genetic signature of the owner resulted in immediate and unforgiving consequences. This concept finds a parallel in Norse mythology, where only the god Thor can wield his hammer. References to the Ankh keys and stargates also appear in the lore of the Hopi Native American tribe. Their narratives describe star visitors as having stargates located at various points around the world, including one near the Grand Canyon in Arizona. Imagine encountering a luminous, beautiful doorway nestled within the rocky face of a mountain and walking through it to be instantly transported to a distant reddish planet thousands of light years away. Another attribute was the power of flight, which we may now attribute to advanced technology was readily misconstrued by our ancestors as wings or fiery chariots. The Greek messenger of the gods, Hermes, soared through the heavens, while in biblical texts he would be deemed an angel, for the term angel denotes a messenger. Depicted with unidentifiable contraptions on his feet and back, Hermes possessed the technology that granted him the gift of flight, our ancestors, bereft of the vocabulary to comprehend such marvels, relied on the words they knew best to describe at the time which they said, men with wings on their backs like birds in the sky, or fiery chariots to signify their awe-inspiring spaceships that have fiery ignitions like dragons. It is said that Hera, also known as Isis or Ninharsag, would travel everywhere by a glowing chariot, which shows not only did they teleport to destinations, but they also flew in their spaceships with Marvel Comics Iron Man-like technology. In the sacred Hindu Vedic mythologies of the Mahabharata, a mesmerizing narrative unfolds. It recounts the existence of celestial cities in the skies, locked in fierce battles among the heavens, with these ethereal metropolises occasionally descending to earth and exploding with fire. From a modern perspective, these cities represent motherships and spaceships engaged in a galactic war, their descent akin to spacecraft touching down on our terrestrial realm. This concept also aligns with mythologies portraying gods residing in the heavens, such as Mount Olympus or Asgard. The Mahabharata references a celestial weapon known as the Brahmastra, which was forged eons ago within the Pleiades star system. This formidable weapon was renowned as the mightiest in the universe, capable of obliterating entire planets and annihilating any individual or entity in three worlds with a single strike. It is believed that cataclysmic events triggered by such potent weapons, along with galactic conflicts, attracted numerous extraterrestrial beings to our solar system millions of years ago, as other solar systems experienced the devastation of their planets and moons. The Hindus described this weapon as infallible. Wherever the Anunnaki pointed it, all forms of life were decimated, including trees, animals, and even water sources like lakes or oceans. It possessed the capability to shatter and break mountains. However, its level of destructive power varied, as it could either obliterate an entire planet or devastate beings or armies depending on its intended target. This aligns with the concept of the atomic bomb developed by Oppenheimer in the 1950s. Oppenheimer is renowned for drawing inspiration for the atomic bomb from Hindu Vedic texts describing the Brahmastra, as well as the seven tablets of creation from the Sumerian Babylonian civilization, where all myths and epics trace back to Anunnaki aliens who disguise themselves as gods. It was within this cradle of civilization, the ancient heartland of Mesopotamia,
that the Sumerian civilization emerged as our world's first organized society, the very source from which all mythological stories originate. Additionally, it served as a crucible of innovation. These remarkable Sumerians, credited with inventing the wheel, the first writing system, an intricate counting system, the concept of monarchy, the art of astrology, and the meticulous lunar calendar, bore witness to the divine presence of these extraterrestrials. They were tasked with inscribing the stories of these godlike visitors on cuneiform tablets, narrating the profound interactions between these beings whom they referred to as the Anunnaki. In conclusion, the intriguing intersection of myths and legends across diverse cultures all led back to the ancient civilizations of Sumer, where biblical text and mythologies were created and etched on the cuneiform tablets called the Seven Tablets of Creation, or Inuna Elish, which now are alluding to the notion of advanced extraterrestrial beings who once inhabited our planet and posed as deities. This cosmic truth beckons us to push the boundaries of our comprehension of life and historical narratives. While much of our historical truth regarding these beings has been distorted through misinterpretations, substantial fragments of reality are still preserved within these mythologies. The ancient past conceals clues that challenge our preconceived notions and inspire us to embark on a quest for knowledge and discovery. Unraveling the hidden truths of the cosmos and our ancient history may lead to a more profound understanding of our own reality, including the role played by these celestial visitors in shaping our world. This journey kindles the imagination and encourages continued exploration of ancient mysteries concealed behind the veil of antiquity. We urge you to engage in thorough research on every topic, delving deeply and questioning the world's ancient texts. Furthering your esoteric knowledge is the sole path to genuine freedom in our lives, ensuring that we are not led astray by the elite 1% and the Anunnaki who still exert control over this plane. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to subscribe and join to our channel, where we delve deeper into cosmic mysteries and esoteric legends. May the eternal light illuminate your path. See you on the next episode.